What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I am so pumped to film this because I've been in my new apartment here in Atlanta for the last three months and I finally finished furnishing it, I think. I think all I need left is a coffee table to put in front of the couch. So I'm going to Walmart right now to pick that up. Also, this is like the first time in five months I get to break out the hoodie. Do you smell that in the air? <sighs> that beautiful fall September weather, my favorite time of the year. So let's get to Walmart right now and keep this video rolling. So we ordered this three piece coffee table and end table set from Walmart. We'll see what the quality is, but it looked pretty good for the price. It's like a hundred bucks, that's it. Then we gotta set this up ourselves. So this coffee table is gonna be in front of our couch and these two end tables right here are gonna be in either side of the couch, I think. But we'll see what it looks like later. It's kinda heavy, bro. We're gonna figure out how to put this thing together right now. After three months of living in this place, I think we are finally fully furnished. So cue the intro, welcome to another vlog. I hope you enjoy a tour of my crib here in Atlanta. Let's go. Welcome to me, Casa guys, welcome to my crib. I'm gonna try to give you a tour of every single inch of this place on the fly. So I'll start outside right here. We have a welcome to our home mat right there to greet all of our guests. Very nice, very nice. Moving into the kitchen. I think this is probably my favorite part of the whole apartment. The kitchen is pretty freaking massive for a one bedroom place. Check out this kitchen island. It's really big, it's too big honestly. We only use probably half of it. But the width of this kitchen island is probably a good three feet or so. And the length of this kitchen island is probably almost six feet, at least five feet for sure. Like the granite, Scott, is this granite? Yeah. Where's this marble? I, I don't know. I'm not an HGTV, but it looks pretty nice. We have a mat that goes across the width of the island. And then this thing in the middle, this is all fake. Obviously, it's just some pretty decorations, Thanksgiving theme. I think I'm filming this video at a good time in the fall because Skylar started decorating its fall themes all the way around, which I'll show you. This is something my friend Eric got me for his wedding that's upcoming next May in Kansas. David Groomsman 5424. I'm gonna be part of his wedding, so I'll be in Kansas next May for that. For some reason, we had this thing of a cat. Skylar, why do we have this? I don't like cats at all. Here's where we store our bananas, got the Keurig thing, our paper towels, and Skylar, what is this? That's a Halloween decoration. But why is there smoke coming out of this? It, like you put water in it. This it is some kind of like witch's potion or something. Is this gonna like kill me? No. It's gonna like put toxic fumes in my body or something. But we have that. Next to it we have this decoration for Thanksgiving. It says always be thankful. I, uh, I'm thankful for everything in my life that I have. Moving over here, this is our stove. It is a gas stove, not electric. I know some people have a preference. I cannot care less. I don't do much cooking, but Skylar does most of the cooking here and I definitely think she likes the gas stove over the electric. Nice stainless steel appliances throughout. As you can see, moving over here, here's our sink area. And these two wine bottles here, I got these two years ago when I moved to Atlanta. Have not touched them since. Got some more awesome decorations up here. This thing says harvest, ready for Halloween. Dude, it's crazy. All the stores nowadays are decked out in Halloween and we're only in the middle of September. It's mm -hmm. pretty wild. Got another plant there. More Halloween themed decorations up there. And this thing is pretty cool. Skylar just put this up. It's a sticker that goes on the wall. This is us, our story, our home, our love. That's awesome. Forgot to show you this at the entrance, but we have a dog leash hanger here. For when we have dog here, the leashes hang up here with the, the poopy bags, and then we also use it to hang our keys over here. I bought two bar stools to put on the end of the kitchen island to eat our food. We honestly don't use these that much. We like to just stand while we're eating our food, but this is mostly for guests when they're here. They have a spot to eat. Moving into the living room. We got the coffee table set up. What you think? I think the color scheme looks pretty nice. This actually came out darker, the wood, than what was shown in the pictures, which is awesome because I think it matches this wood pretty good. Got the couch, there's the love seat here. These match each other. Both of these are from Ashley Furniture. Both of these combined are like a thousand bucks. That's it. I think I got a pretty good deal on that. Also set up this size table right here with the nice plants. These are 
These are fake, right? Obviously yeah. fake, but they look pretty cool with the picture of the butterfly here. That's where we store the dog food when we have our dog here. Got the love seats, like I said, it matches. This thing you put your ice cold beer on. And then got the other side desk right here with another fake plant. Babe, put my globe up here. Here, let me put this right here right now. I think I said it in a video before, but I love globes. I really love globes. I just like looking at the world and spinning this thing. It's pretty cool. But we have a lamp in the corner here. Oh, whoops. We have a lamp in the corner here as well. Got another candle here. This thing I made myself at this place in Decatur. It's just one of these plant things that you throw together and make it look pretty. Got some more decorations. Not quite sure what that is. Oh, that's an angel. Very nice. That's a fox, I think. When did we get a cactus? This is my very first time That's seeing this cactus. Aloe vera plant. This is an aloe vera plant. Well, that is freaking pointy like a cactus. Yeah. So if you run into that, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get pricked for sure. But this is our living room. Very spacious as well. Also got this cool painting up here from where we get that TJ Maxx. I mean, something very basic. We try to spend as little money as possible while making everything look pleasing. Let me show you the TV. Pretty basic, basic TV, basic TV stand, but it's got it as some more Halloween decorations with two skulls on either side of the TV. Also, these lights are pretty cool, especially at nights when all the lights are off and we're just chilling here to watch in sports or Netflix or whatever. And on the side of this TV, I don't know why, but we have a basket here with a football. We tell Tom Brady. Tom Brady is a go. Feel free to put you down below in the comments. Let's check out the balcony. This is probably my second favorite part of the place behind the kitchen. And this is all kudos to Skylar. She put up all these decorations. Got this thing here just to give more privacy. Got these fake leaves that go around the balcony for the whole width of it. And then got these lights as well. When you're out here at night, you can turn these lights on and look super pretty. And check this out. She also put up this. Check out that privacy when you want to chill out here and enjoy the night sky with the stars, but you don't want anyone to see you. And then we were debating what kind of seating to put out here. We went back and forth with like a lawn chair and a rocking chair and maybe just leaving these out here and this is it to leave more space. But we ended up with a freaking gaming chair because why not? This is pretty awesome. You can rock back and forth looking up at the night sky up there. Over here, this is a closet. Got this decorative wreath on here, very cool. I mean, Scott, you can come over here and take a look at this. There's not much over here other than storage in this closet right here, as you can see. I mean, it's basically, it's a good size closet though. Over here, this is where we have our in-sweet washer and dryer. Over here, Skylar, ignore that. We have not done laundry yet, so there's a bunch of clothes in there. This is the bathroom right here. As you can see, this is really spacious as well. Got multiple mats and rugs on the ground over here. And also got, of course, a hamper. An extra towel here says count your blessings. You should absolutely count your blessings if you're not done that recently. Happy fall, y'all. Just base more decorations over here. I have not seen these elephants ever either. Dude, I don't know where Sky is getting these decorations from out of nowhere, but living with her is, is pretty awesome though. More Halloween type decorations up here. Another fake plants, of course. Extra towels in here. This is our sink area. The only complaint I, is I wish this was a double vanity when we're getting ready to go in the morning. If we had two sinks instead of one, that would be awesome. But this is the shower as well. I'll show you guys why not. There you go. I really like this bath splash. This is brand new. As you can see, these ceilings are extremely high. So that is the bathroom. Let's go over here, moving into the bedroom. As you can see, I have the living area up here, separate from my workspace. So this is where I do my full-time job. I work from home most days outside of like one day per month. Got a number of pillows. We are pillow suckers. We sleep with like 10 pillows at one time. This one says, you will forever be my always. Aw, oh, so cute. This decorative thing up here, not sure what that is, but it's hanging from the wall. This painting right here, well, it's not really a painting, but it's a sketch. We got this on the fly in Sarasota, Florida, where Skylar lived before she moved in with me. This guy drew it on the spots while we were sitting there in front of him. Up here, hanging up, we have a picture of us from Celery Fields in Sarasota, Florida, like right when we first met, along with a D for David and an S for Skylar. We have a second TV in here as well. I think if we were to change anything about this apartment, we'd probably upgrade this TV stand. Right now, this is just like a basic cabinet and probably like a little table for from an Xbox to, 
to put that on. So moving into the closet, this closet is again pretty massive with really tall ceilings. As you can see, we have used almost every inch of the storage in here and there's a lot. All of our extra suitcases and boxes and whatnot are up there. My clothes are basically on this side. The Scott's clothes are basically on this side. And when we have our dog here, this is all the dog area with the bed right there and uh, some extra clothes for the dog here as well. That is pretty much the entire crib, top to bottom, right to left. Huge shout out to Scott and my girlfriend for decorating 90% of this place. This would not be possible without her help, so thank you very much. Actually heading to the Atlanta United soccer game tonight. Super pumped for that, but before I wanna do that, I wanna give a 30 second shout out to the sponsor of today's video. I think this is my very first sponsor, Charleston Easter. This company is owned and operated by my good friend, M. Denopoulos, who is my college freshman year roommate. And what he does is e foil otherwise it's pretty much like electric surfboarding where he gives private lessons to both individuals and groups who want to learn how to operate an electric surfboard or something of that sort so charleston e-surf i'm not sure who here in atlanta would go to charleston south carolina but if you do and you book one of his services let him know you know me and he'll hook you up with a discount i'll leave the link to his website so you can check it out and pick up some sweet merch like this hat this is a sweet hat honestly i wear it all the time down in the description below. So, go check it out. Good game, Atlanta won five to two, but I went to see Messi. If you don't follow soccer, Lionel Messi is the greatest player of all time. He plays for Miami now, and he was supposed to play in today's game. That's why I bought the tickets, but he didn't. So I spent a lot of money to not see him. Hopefully I get to see him eventually because he's the greatest of all time and I gotta see him before he retires. But good game overall. And now we're outside on the balcony. Let's see if I can plug these lights in for you so you can guys can, can take a look. It's pretty cool it's got to set up here. If I can figure out how to make this thing work. Let's see. And there we go. See, lights are pretty cool. Overlooking our balcony right here. Here. But yeah, that was a tour of my entire crib here in Atlanta. About time I got this thing furnished three months after moving into this place. So really hope you enjoyed another video today. Gonna get back to the normal vlog style next week. If you enjoyed this video, please drop me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. See you next Monday.